Hi, Andrew Cruz from your service on .dent here and just a new video for our AWeber series here and today we are, I'm going to cover how to get your account set up with AWeber but also uh, how to create your first list inside your AWeber account. So uh, first things first, let's get your account set up. Uh, very simple, uh, I'm not actually going to go through completely and do it, uh, but I'll show you the steps you need to initially take. And once you've done that, then we'll jump into my account and we'll go through and show you exactly uh, what it looks like and everything else. Okay, so first things first, when you first uh, sign up for AWeber, uh, there's two ways of doing this. If you're part of a team or someone's um, suggested you use AWeber, uh, you may want to check with them and see if they have an affiliate link. Uh, if you do any type of online marketing or anything, you'd uh, probably have come across that uh, most services provide an affiliate program. Um, basically what this is, is it gives people an opportunity to advertise a service, a website, a company or whatever it is and um, earn some uh, commission for doing that advertising work for them. Now uh, remember yes you are going to allow this person to earn some income but you also have the opportunity to do that as well so uh, it's really good to keep integrity of uh, the kind of downline and uh, if someone's asked you or said uh, hey uh, this is the pro software you should use um, it's what our whole team uses, then you're probably worthwhile signing up with it, use the affiliate link, and then do the same so that your team can also uh, join you. Okay, so if you look up here in the toolbar or the menu bar, uh, you'll see that this is our affiliate link. Uh, if you haven't got someone that's referred you, feel free to use that. If you uh, haven't, um, if you've got someone that you work with then please use theirs I don't want to be stealing um, any affiliates okay uh, so if you put that in it may also look not like that I've personalized ours it may just have some numbers at the end which is the affiliate ID number um, so either way that'll work okay so if you just pop that in to the address it'll come up with a generic Aweber landing um, page which looks exactly like it was and then at the top right here you want to click on order okay so if we do that, then brings you into a screen where you've got three choices of uh, the pricing plan. If you're just testing and wanting to tr give Aweber a try, then probably the first month for a dollar is a pretty good way to do it. Uh, it will give you access to their entire system for one month for one dollar, and then it's just $19 a month after that. So obviously over a 12 month period, the, if you pay quarterly or upfront, you do obviously save money, uh, but not everyone, I understand, not everyone has the $194 to pay upfront necessarily and everything else. So basically, you make your choice there, create your account, you put in your lo a login name that you want, it does, it does need to be unique. Uh, you put in first name, last name, email address that you want to uh, have Aweber contact you on, and all that other information. Billing, obviously, pop in the information there. It obviously realizes we're in Australia, so you can pick the country that's appropriate to you if it's not right. And then they do take uh, credit cards there. So they take credit cards because there is a recurring fee, um, especially for that first month. Uh, make sure the plan you've got selected down here is correct. So if we go back to the top, it does have that. If I change that to, say, yearly, you'll notice that down the bottom here it has... Uh, that so we've said saving $34.20 so even if you factor in the $18 you save there you're still saving about uh, $16 the first year and then it's obviously uh, incrementally more over the next um, while ever you have that click I agree and complete my order and that will then step you through and take that um, through that process okay so that's all I'm going to do there uh, what I want to do now is uh, get you show you our account and how this works. So I'm just going to log into our account. Um, bear with me one second. Okay, so log in. This is the same thing. So what you're going to see right now is our account overview. 
okay when you first log in after creating your account it's going to look different to this because obviously you won't have a list you'll go through a bit of a setup process which is fine um, it's really easy to do and it'll step you through but what I want to show you now is how to create a list okay so uh, this is exactly the same as if you're doing it the first time or the hundredth time uh, it is exactly the same process. Um, first time you'll see it, you'll just have an option to create a list. This time, because I've got other lists, uh, it gives me the option up here to create a list. So I'm going to click create a list. And it'll just load. Okay. So it tells us just kind of just a bit of information about um, who you are and everything else. So we've got our uh, company name there, our company website, which we actually don't need that part uh, for the www. Uh, we've got um, addresses that will appear at the bottom. You do need to have an address that will appear at the bottom of your emails because obviously with spamming laws and everything else, uh, people need to know it's a legitimate um, uh, person and business that it's coming from. So. If you don't want to use your residential address, you can use postal address or some other kind of address like that. And here it gives you a bit more information. Um, then we talk about the sender's name and email address that will appear. Uh, generically, we've got uh, Kelly and I, so Andrew and Kelly Crute, and then we're sending it from Kelly at your service zone.net. Okay, next step. So this is where we can call the list. Anything that is uh, relevant to you. So say you are going to sell um, uh, coffee widgets. Uh, <laughs> I just made that one up. Uh, coffee widgets. So you would call um, coffee widgets because you do need to have it all together. You can no spaces. But we'll put a underscore there. Okay, coffee widgets. Okay, now this name is only something for you. Um, your uh, recipients and your subscribers won't see that. So here you might say um, new list for my coffee widget business. Oh, I'll see if I can spell. Okay, so there um, will they see that? Uh, They'll see it if they choose to unsubscribe, so you might want to put something there that's nice. <laughs> Don't want to put any derogatory things in there, um, but just a brief thing so you know more than anything about what the list is about. And if people are going to unsubscribe, it'll give the option to say, oh, this is actually what that was about. Okay, next step. Okay, so the final step here is deciding whether you want people to uh, have to confirm their subscription to your list okay so there's two schools of thought here one is you get people to subscribe through your capture page sign up form or whatever and then they receive an email saying thank you for subscribing uh, please confirm da -de -da -de -da, just like this message says here now a lot of people may not get that they may not go and check so you uh, run the risk of people never getting your emails the other school of thought is, okay, just get everyone in there and they'll unsubscribe if they don't want to get it. Well, you know, that's valid as well. Um, there's, you know, it's your decision um, how you want to run your business. Uh, obviously, if you do the confirmation thing, you're m the people on your list are much more likely to be responsive to you because they've taken that extra step to uh, get onto your list. Um, but you know, that's something you need to decide for yourself as a business owner. So subject line for it can be response required, confirm your request for information, da 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 da. If you use a uh, first name uh, capture box on your capture page, you can do that as well. And of course you can customize it as well. Okay, body of the text, you can edit the top bit here and also the bottom. This bit in the middle is generic for all uh, Aweber subscription confirmation emails. Okay, so approve message and create list. Okay, let's get that's done now. Okay, now so if you, we look up here at current list, 
uh, you probably can't see that <laughs> current list um, you'll now see coffee underscore widgets is showing if that list name is not available uh, it will tell you uh, Aweber will say cannot be used or whatever okay so once you have more than one list you'll see that there is a um, drop down list there of uh, all the different types of uh, lists or all, all the lists that you have you can go in back in and create and manage lists you can deactivate and delete lists if you want to stop that series going out or whatever um, but that's something else that you can uh, just explore there now one thing I do want to touch on is list settings here in the list options um, I don't want this to go too much longer it's already gone for quite a while so but just uh, a couple other things where you can edit that information originally you can edit here the name underneath is a unique list ID if you use uh, campaign codes or your team has some automated uh, tools and stuff that is the list ID that you would need not the name uh, description you can change address emails save settings and we can go again to personalize you can change that information there you can set it up to go to your Twitter or Facebook or anything like that and uh, then confirmed opt-in so you can change that again and you can actually at this point turn this off so if you click the off it will turn it off so that people don't have to confirm their opt-in okay and you can change where they go to once they have opted in okay guys that's it that was uh, as long as I wanted it to be I hope you've learned something uh, if you got any questions feel free to contact me in the details below or at the end of this video and uh, good luck with your AWeb uh, service it's a great uh, tool and if you're marketing online it's a must-have okay that's it for now and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video okay bye